Greetings, Spec Warriors. This is Master BLB speaking, and this is presentation of my Mech Designer application. So, let us start the presentation. This is the main window of the application, and its core feature is it can work at several different Mech designs at once. Let me demonstrate you. For example, option load mech, and I have several mechs here. And as you see, there are many windows for the mechs, however, it created some kind of mess, so it's a good occasion to show you all extra features, like for example, cascade designs. This causes the, the mech windows to be ordered in such order. Also, each of, of these windows can be minimized or can be minimized all at once and restore it to normal positions. For example, this one and this one. Hmm. To work uh, with uh, multiple main designs and to help uh, that, uh, there is an option Windows, which uh, stores each uh, of the main designs and uh, allows you to quickly switch to the chosen design. For example, this Orion 1 LRM boat. And here, for example, this Atlas Devastator and then for example, or oh, hatchet man, let's say. As you can see, this way window not only brings uh, the design uh, to the main area, but also centers it. The option uh, restore all causes all the Mac designs to be shown in mm, normal state, normal size, let's say. Ah, here, close all is self-explanatory. Similar for save all and new mech and here is how it looks. Uh, the mech you see here are um, based on uh, JSON data stored in main game folder and uh, those mechs are uh, from Mm, a flashpoint expansion. As you can see, you can uh, sort the max either by names or by tonnage. You can navigate uh, with mouse or keyboard. I am pressing keyboard down. Uh, I mean uh, arrow down, not keyboard down. And arrow left, arrow right to ex expand close. Uh, a tree branch. And let's take a mech for example. Awesome. Uh, to create a new mech window you can use either a double click on mech variant, uh, create options or press enter key. And first I will demonstrate you what will happen if you try to not choose a Mac variant. You will see this uh, error mess message box. And here is the main design <coughs> for the awesome FUS 8Q. Did I forget something? Ah, yes. Uh, the new Mac Windows has this button called Reset. Uh, this is a shortcut for the last uh, chosen mech. Uh, also, you can type uh, mech names by keyboard. Let's say I will type uh, Atlas. And as you can see, the view was uh, switched to show Atlas mech. All right, uh, let me introduce you the main uh, window for the design and its parts. 
Uh, most of it is self-explanatory, like uh, the buttons here. We will talk about them a bit later. Same for these buttons. This part, this part, and this part. Hmm. This uh, orange number uh, shows uh, how many HP points uh, has a structure. So, for example, also right arm has 65 um, health points. This area here uh, is uh, used uh, to present information about uh, maximum and uh, currently used tonnage. Oh. For example, I uh, removed a heat sink and as you see there is one ton, ton to spare. Uh, how many uh, slots are used and how much, how many, uh, I'm sorry, slots are maximally possible. How many jump jets the mech can equip and uh, how much heat uh, jump jets will generate according to the chosen distance. So for that I'm going to take up not this a mech with jump jets, let's say spider. Uh, it has plenty of jump jets. As you can see this slider here have some range now. And this means uh, that uh, the mech can jump up to 10 hexes dots uh, on the map at uh, maximum and that will gen generate 40 hit. Mm, the feature you have been me have been asking me for is uh, to add uh, jump jets calculation to weapon heights and this is the task for this button here. If I press it then uh, the indicator of the heat generated per turn will uh, include jump jets hits and of course ca current jump jets hits. Well, this area on the, on the right side uh, is used uh, to show um, damage. Alpha damage m means uh, total damage dealt by weapons or um, for two medium laser it is uh, 50 damage. Focus damage, let me show you the tooltip maybe uh, or maybe I will show it on other mech. Oh, Hunchback, where is it? Yes. No, let's close this two ones. Nope, I don't wish to save. So, alpha damage for the Hunchback is uh, 220 and focus damage is equal to that number. Why is that? Uh, because uh, if you use precision strike, uh, it is possible that all the laser will hit the same spot. For uh, any ah, damn it! For any max which uh, have uh, equipped uh, weapon like uh, missiles, missiles or uh, machine guns, uh, catapult. Yep. Well, uh, as, as you know, mm, it is uh, rather unlikely that all the rockets will hit the same location and that's why I introduced this label called scatter damage. Stability damage is self-explanatory, hit damage as well. Uh -huh. uh, I do it too early, but never mind. As you can see, our mech now deals 10 damage, in addition to all uh, of the rest. Uh, melee damage, melee stability damage and uh, the FR damage are quite self-explanatory, except maybe uh, this part. And 
uh, if your pilot has uh, piloting at uh, maximum 10 points if I recall uh, you you get uh, self damage uh, reduction and you can also include that bonus uh, this part here shows uh, how much ammo uh, you have uh, totally on your mech and how many uh, shots uh, you, you can shot uh, using all the weapons which uses that kind of armor. In our example we have uh, two LRM 15s, uh, we have 20, oh, sorry, 240 missiles, so it's enough to shot both of the um, racks uh, eight times. What else? Ah, all right. Uh, let's let's talk about um, setting up armor. Uh, as you can see, you have sliders for that, so you can use your mouse and move it left, right. You can use a mouse wheel to do the same, or point some place on the on the slider and click and hold the left mouse button. However, this is kind of inconvenient for mechs uh, with a pretty, pretty big uh, chunk of armor. Let's for example Atlas. Uh, come on, watch this. Two, three <coughs> hundred twenty armor, and it's quite time consuming. That's why I invented a method you can click on this level front or rear to quickly either set the armor to the maximum or if it, it, it is at maximum already to zero. Uh, another cool feature is uh, let's say simultaneous uh, setting armor for mirror at side. For example, if I want to set uh, Lex armor to 100, I could of, of course move the slider and move the slider and it would work. But a much faster way is to, to hold down control kill and the use uh, normal input for handling the amp armor. For example, I want to uh, use <coughs> mouse wheel and watch what will happens. See? And same for this trick to set up to zero or to maximum. Alright, what's next on the list? Ah, my nickname. Here, as you can see, you have uh, a line edit to enter my nickname. It is uh, very convenient to nick your max because it is uh, much easier to distinguish among older blessings. For example, let's call it. So, as you can see, this name is not also on the window title. If you minimize it, it is still visible. And also it is shown here. To present you the, a, a new feature, I'm going to use my uh, one of my uh, 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 <coughs> used max in real game. It is uh, such Atlas, and it is designed in this way that uh, at long range it uses PPCs and AC files, and when uh, opponent uh, comes uh, closer, I switch to all the other weapons and uh, I don't shoot PPCs. It generates plenty of heat. Ah. 
but it is heat neutral. How it is possible? Let me introduce a new feature, which is uh, disabling equipment. I can, without uh, removing it from the mech, disable any kind of equipment like weapon, heatsink, jump jet, whatever. And uh, such uh, equipment, which is in disabled state, is not uh, calculated towards uh, damage, heat calculation, ammo storage, and so on. Uh, this uh, helps uh, to, de to develop um, how should I say it? How a mech is uh, suited for uh, different scenarios. For example, close range combat in this scenario and uh, long range combat in such scenario. As you can see, it's way better. But let me use uh, another uh, mech S enabling disabling weapons when there are plenty of them is kinda meh, I would say. That's why I introduced two buttons, weapons off and weapons on, which makes all the process way easier. What else? Here you, you can see uh, I am using uh, a weapon variants, for example, PPC plus 10 damage, AC5 plus 10 damage. How can, can I use different variants? It's extremely e easy. You just uh, click right mouse button on an equipment piece and you have such kind of menu. And as you see, AC5 is now in stock state, which reflects alpha damage and focus damage. Now again, plus 10 damage, and as you see, focus damage and alpha damage are increased by 10. Same for uh, SRMs, but now it's affects only alpha damage and scatter damage. Mm. Another uh, cool feature is uh, free tonnage dialog. For example, uh, in my uh, MechWarrior Online and Battletech uh, times, I had uh, very, very often a situation I needed to um, release, for example, half of ton, one ton of free tonnage from armor. Of course, you, you can use sliders for that, you can use simultaneous uh, armor editing to make it easier, but there is even simple solution for that. And it is called free tonnage dialog. Ah, I'm sorry guys, uh, I am not satisfied with how it looks and it will be hmm, redesigned in the future, but for now it looks like how it looks. Uh, but uh, the most important thing is it works. X. I expected. So, for example, let's say we want to um, free half ton of armor from legs. We have to set uh, the legs as act active component. Now we can see uh, total weight of the armor at th those um, selected component are 3.25 tons, and we are going to use the spin box to free some tonnage. Uh, it operates in half tons steps. Here, uh, reflected armor 
after the change. So here is re right leg, here is left leg. Watch what will happen if I will <coughs> change value of the spin box. So we, in our example, we were going to three half ton of the armor. So let's do it and press apply. Hmm. Ah, because uh, the griffin uh, has uh, underweight a bit, so we to properly demonstrate it, I need to ah, do something like this. Now we have uh, full armor, uh, 57 tons. Ah, guys, you know what? Let's use the feature to remove those. Uh, nope. Ah, to remove uh, two extra tons from all of the armor. Let's take free tonnage from the back, from the front, well maybe uh, except the head, arms and legs and we are two tons overweight so let's set it to two and apply and voila alright what's next on my list uh, we target out my design window it seems so add new equipment all right to invoke a, a new equipment dialog you just simply click on a, a mech inventory in given location so for example for right arm left arm center torso head right torso right leg left leg or left torso The cool, the cool feature of this dialog is uh, first, uh, it automatically filters out uh, uh, all uh, improper uh, stuff. So, for example, uh, this uh, left torso has only missiles and hard points. So, in the weapon stop, there are no lasers or cannons or support weapons. But in the left. Uh, I'm sorry, in the right arm there are lasers, PPCs and support weapons because this part has uh, appropriate hard points types. If we will have mech with uh, all, ki all four uh, types of hard point in our location, uh, we would see all the weapon uh, types. Uh, where is Cicada? Here it is. So, for example, let's take this Tiskeda, which has three types of hard points, and you can see there are three types of weapons. You can expand or collapse a category, and uh, as in uh, the main designed window, you can switch. Uh, to a variant using uh, context menu invoked by right mouse button click. Also, uh, for easier switch between weapons and equipment, you can use uh, forward or back uh, button on your mouse, usually located under a thumb. See? To close uh, this dialog, you use either this two or a big close button, escape key, or a middle mouse button. Click everywhere on the dialog. And uh, 
to add uh, equipment uh, into location, you don't have to drag it, simple, you need to click on an interesting new item. So, for example, hatchet here and hatchet here. And let's say a uh, gyro here, jump jet here, and jump jet here. And let's put here some heat sinks. Or maybe heat exchanger. Whatever. And maybe some heat bank. And here is an error message. You uh, can't put heat bank here because you don't have two slots uh, left. And for uh, weapons it looks very similar. You don't have energy hard points to add uh, another energy type weapon. Although uh, this dialogue is uh, really cool and helpful, it has uh, one downside. It uh, has to uh, cover some part of the map all the time. And uh, this cannot be avoided. Uh, this is especially uh, irritating when you are going to add a mall. Uh, we have something what would use ammo only this machine gun so let's close this cicada how about uh, this griffin ah much better example as you can see you, you have uh, 200 uh, srm ammo and let's assume you want to add some more here and in the same time you wish to see uh, how many salvos you would have no you can't say it in this in this view so you have to switch the dialogue to another part and uncover at least partially however switching here to here and back it's well it sucks that's why i introduced something called floating mode to this dialogue. It switches into completely independent window. You can place anywhere on this Mac designer area. You can also change its size. And moreover, uh, this window uh, has attribute always on top, so it won't be covered by any other Mac designs. In this scenario, as you can see, you can add the ammo all over the place and instantly see how it will change uh, ammo stock and consumption. And dear Mechwarios, that would be all about my program. However, I think there is uh, one question you are uh, thinking about right now. It is, what about supporting the mods? Sadly, uh, I'm not going to support them directly. However, because Make Designer uh, is based ent entirely on JSON data files, so if uh, mod makers uh, will follow, hmm, let's say, all the rules uh, to create uh, new mech, new weapons, and so on, it also should be reflected in mech designer. And let me demonstrate that. However, I have to close the application because uh, internal database used for mechs equipment, we weapons and so on are uh, created on the start of application and are not refreshed. I, I have some experimental stuff here, so let's take for example medium 
uh, wrench uh, missiles, missile, ammunition box for it, ammunition box for arrow 4, arrow 4 itself, and let's put it into JSON data folder. Alright, ammunition boxes are going here. And weapons are going here. Let's take some max uh, marauder. Hmm, marauder may cause the crash, but that would be a good indicator. Hunchback for Yoda. Let's take it as, as well. Handbuck uh, for G uh, was created by me, uh, while the Marauder is uh, some kind of mech from uh, Mech Engineer or such kind of mods. Uh, I hmm. where ah uh, one of of my beta tester uh, gave me it to the for the tests. Mech devs, mech, mech. Uh, let's put them here and those let's put here hmm what else experimental stuff hmm. ah, let's take stinger for example and wolverine And here is uh, the difference. Uh, as you can see, there are plenty of stuff uh, uh, which are not in the base game and therefore are not supported by my program. However, I can uh, li list uh, all of those equipments and while creating or loading uh, from file uh, such kind of mech, I can just uh, skip. Uh, all of the, of this equipment. So let's uh, we add that stinger. So let's create one. And as you can see, the window is uh, a bit bigger to reflect uh, changes uh, done it to slots per location. For comparison, let's take an uh, ur urban mech. Uh, a bit smaller. And uh, I, I don't know what, what that mech had. Ah, it has uh, some kind of uh, endo steel or uh, ferrofibrous, so it wouldn't uh, be overweight. Alright, another mech. What was it? Wolverine. Let's create it. This is a more standard mech, as you can see same uh, size of the window and uh, it misses some stuff uh, for example ultra ac5 and uh, streak srm uh, missiles what was else ah marauder fingers crossed and as you can see all the stuff I needed to fit engine, gyro, and uh, I don't know what else, uh, sensor, whatever. But uh, it is uh, handled mm, in, my, in my application, at least to some degree. Well, how about new weapons? As you can see, there is arrow 4. Mm, ah, you, you don't have missile rack here 
Ah, so let's clone that mech. And uh, medium rocket missile. Medium, medium range missile. I'm sorry. Let's say if let's see if it will support uh, ammunition. Adding MRM. Ah, uh, it works. It works flawlessly. How about uh, arrow four? Um, arrow four. Yep, it works as well. So as long as you don't mess up things t uh, too much, uh, you can use uh, Mac Designer for mods as, as well. That would be all. I hope you enjoyed it and sorry for my English as that's not my native language. And uh, see you till rele release of beta version of Mac Designer. See ya!